Bruce Howard along with head coach John Barfeld at the Collins Family Softball Complex here at TU where the Hurricane has defeated Oklahoma State 3-0. Good performance again by your star pitcher. She just continues. Emily Watson just continues to be outstanding, doesn't she? Yeah, she, she is. It's awfully tough for uh, hitters to square her up, and she came out and did her thing today again. And You know, anytime you have the wind blowing out, usually the ball's going to move even more for you. So, um, again, she had you know, most everything working and with good command. And what people forget or what people may not realize, after a sweep of Oklahoma State, you have swept a really good uh, softball team that's 8-1 and one in the Big 12. Oh, they're, they're a very good team. Well coached, you know, and, um, you know, we're just fortunate to come out and, you know, put three hits together in that first inning and uh, get some runs on the board early. Yeah, early on, Julia Hollingsworth gets you going with a double to left center. That starts the inning. You get a sacrifice floor to a fly to score the first run, and then you get three in that first inning. Yeah, Torrey came through with a big hit, and then Riley came through with a big hit. And, you know, you just want to have some breathing room because, you know, they had a hitter hit one out on Emily last time, and so you know that they had some hitters in the lineup that, you know, you just make one little mistake, and then all of a sudden they got runs on the board. And how important were those two out base hits to score runs? Those things are golden, aren't they, when you think about that you got one from Spell and you got one from Stafford? Exactly. You know, that's huge. And and uh, anytime you get a two out, you know, RBI, you just think, oh, man, that – Thank, thank the Lord on that one. <laughs> and Emily Watson had 17 strikeouts in the first game. She had 11 in this game. How was she different, and did they approach her differently? Well, I think they approached her differently from the standpoint that maybe they didn't swing as many pitches out of the zone. Um, and, and then we pitched a little bit differently, too. You know, we, we threw some different pitches up there, and, and so um, they used the bun a little bit more this time. So just some different things that, that – uh, you know, and when you see a pitcher a second time, you probably are going to get a little bit better idea. How important was it to have a nice crowd here? It was a good atmosphere, wasn't it, with OSU fans here and Tulsa fans? Oh, it's the best crowd of the year, you know, and, and that's why it's so nice to have these in-state rivalries and then have a game over here in Tulsa because, you know, all these OU's, OSU fans, you know, they're probably not driving to Stillwater to see them play very much. And so when, when they come into town, you can see how many people showed up with orange and it just gives a great atmosphere to play in for the players. And now, uh, after a beautiful day here on a Wednesday, you will go to Connecticut where it may be in the 50s, <laughs> but you have a three game set against the Huskies coming up. How important is it to stay focused out there? Oh, definitely. You know, our, our goal is the same. You know, we're going to try to win a series out there and, um, you know, get after it right off the bat and, and hopefully uh, come through with at least two wins. Coach, congratulations. Great job. Thank you very much, Ruth. Head coach John Barfeld as the University of Tulsa executes a sweep of OSU with a 3-0 victory behind Emily Watson's three-hitter here today.